فسبحانه وتعالى أن يكون له شريك أو غير أو عوين أو وزير أو صاحبة أو ولد أو سمي أو شبيه أو مثيل <تصفيق> oh, Translating is a tough job But somebody's got to do it يلا, This is another test for your language skills Brothers and sisters Gentlemen and ladies We discussed this yesterday When we had the other uh, descriptions of النشور والموت والحياة والعون وما أشبه ذلك الآن عندنا مجموعة أو عندنا مجموعة أخرى من الكلمات التي ربما تحسنون ترجمتها وربما لا تحسنون الترجمة فلنجرب سويا ولنرى من كان مقتدر أنت يا عادل النجار Can you, can you, can you, can you, can you, uh? What? The mouse cursor? Up here, here. Huh. Yalla. Let me fix it for y'all. Yalla, ya Adil, enta, uh, you're an Arab, no? Ha, ya Adul. Adele. Enta ma'loom lughat al-Arab bail? Yalla. Who's testing himself? Who could translate this? these two lines? And we will give you a free bottle of water, courtesy of One Way to Paradise, which we're going to get from the Masjid for Taraweeh. No? Anybody? Somebody? Opa! Abasab, you by yourself. You by yourself. Yalla khair. Yalla, yalla, we don't have all day. Let's, let's go through this together. All right. It's good. It's a good, it's a good vocabulary uh, exercise. So first, we're going to begin thinking. What are you thinking about, man? It's okay, James. Take it easy on yourself. No problem. There's nothing to think. Either you know or you don't know. Either you know or you don't know. Let's do it together. Uh, take notes, ya halween. Take notes. Barakallah feekum. Take notes. Learn. Learn. طيب. Awalan sharik. Sharik means partner. Sharik means partner. That's why they say sharika is company. Sharika is a company because usually it's a partnership of individuals that make up a company. So sharik is your partner. Huh? And oh, that's why you have shirk, which is associated partners with Allah. All right. Then we have zahir. Zahir is what? Who can quote an ayah from the Quran? قُلْ لَأَنْ اجْتَمَعَتِ الْإِنْسُ وَالْجِنُّ عَلَىٰ أَنْ يَأْتُوا بِمِثْلِ هَذَا الْقُرْآنِ قُلْ لَأَنْ اجْتَمَعَتُ الْإِنْسُ وَالْجِنُّ عَلَىٰ أَنْ يَأْتُوا بِمِثْلِ هَذَا الْقُرْآنِ لَا يَأْتُونَ بِمِثْلِهِ وَلَوْ كَانَ بَعْضُهُمْ لِبَعْضٍ ظَهِيرًا Say if the, if the ins and the jinn were to come together to bring something like this Quran, they will not be able to do so even if they were Ah, uh, supporters, assistance to one another. Zahir is assistant. So he doesn't have a partner. He doesn't have an assistant. And another synonymous word with Zahir is Aween, from Aoun. From Aoun. The, the root word is Zahr, like a back. Why is, it called, why is he called a, 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 an assistant? Because you're, you're, you basically you use him as a backup. Or you, 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 you use him to... You know, they, uh, someone who's got you back, basically. Someone who's got you back. Aween from Aoun and Ma'una and Iyaka Na'budu wa Iyaka Nasta'een. Aween is an assistant. So you have a supporter, Zahir, and an assistant, Aween. Huh? Wazir. Wazir. Yalla. It, it comes in the Quran. The word Wazir comes in the Quran. Minister, bravo ya Sarah. Bravo ya Sarah. Who was the wazir of Fir'aun? Haman. Haman was the wazir of Fir'aun. And that's the minister. Okay, you could say a uh, vizier or whatever. These are okay, valid terms. Valid terms, no problem. Ah, this is a tricky one. 
because there's a modern Arabic term, there's a modern Arabic, and there's a classic traditional Arabic. Uh, 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 uh. There's Aywa, Awliya Al Mukhlisin. Bravo. Sahiba is a wife. A wife. Anna Yakunu Lahu Walad, Walam Takun Lahu Sahiba. Allah said, how could he have a child when he does not have a wife? This is also in the Quran. It's actually a wife, not a, not a partner. No, no, not a partner or a companion. Sahiba specifically is a wife. Ah, and that's why you have a Sahaba, which is companionship. And also Sahiba, but in modern day, ha, pay attention now. In modern day, if they say Sahibtu, they mean it's his girlfriend. Ha. Today, that term Sahiba has been shifted from meaning a wife to meaning a girlfriend. They say msahab, msahbin, yani they're going out together outside of marriage. Hmm? They say, and Lebanese person will say, Hadi sahabti, meaning this is my girlfriend. Hadi sahbi, this is my boyfriend. Huh? Pay attention. Tayyib, tamam. Tayyib. Walad. Okay, if you don't know Walad, then I'm just going to quit this, this job altogether. Walad, everybody knows. Ah, Walad is. Son, the walad is a son. How do you differentiate James? The, depending on who you're speaking with. If you speak in fusha with someone who's a student of knowledge, they're not going to use sahiba in that in the manner that I just explained. If you speak it to a local Lebanese guy, then he's not going to be speaking about a wife for sure. Tayyib, walad is a, is a son. Huh? Aw sami. Aywa. Where, who can quote an ayah where the word sami is mentioned? Ya Habibi, Ya Habibi ala al ikhtibar. If y'all were my students in a class, 95% of you would fail. In Surah Maryam, yes. Hal ta'lamu lahu samiya. Aywa, sami is an equal. Ahsant ya awliya al-mukhlisin. Ahsant ya awliya al-mukhlisin. Ay. Naam, the technical term sami is from ism, a name, but what it means is an equal. Aw shabi, shabi. Ha, shabi. If you attended the aqidah al wasitiya then you will know that as well. If you attended the aqidah al wasitiya we believe bima wasaf Allahu bihi nafsahu wa bima wasafahu bihi rasuluhu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam min ghayri tahrifin wala ta'atil wa min ghayri takifin wala tashbih ah tashbih is likening Allah to his creation likening resembling all of these are correct no problem no problem aw mathil mathil from mithil Hada mithlu hada. This is like that. Mathil is an, an equivalent. Shabih is similarity. And Mathil is an equal. So if you want to really be technical, if you really want to be technical, Shabih is something that resembles something. Whereas Mathil is something that is similar, particularly similar to something. Huh. Kapish? في صفات كماله ونعوت جلاله أو يعجزه شيء يريده. Meaning you don't have any of those in the perfection of his attributes and in his lofty exaltedness or that anything can stop him from what he wants. All right. You guys did a good job. You guys did an okay job. Now you're starting to get the, the, the drift. Is that what it is? You started to understand how this works. I told you this is valuable, valuable work. And this, what you're doing right now, you will be surprised. You will be surprised. And I've said this many times, and I will say it again for those of you hearing this for the first time. The best way to memorize vocabulary is by engaging with the word and writing it down. It is not merely memorization. And all of you know this from school. When your teacher used to give you 10 words to memorize, you would forget five of them by next week, six of them by two weeks, seven of them by one month. And after six months, you have one word of the 10 words you learned because it was forced upon you and you just memorized it by re saying, you know, uh, afterlife means, you know, the life after death, blah, blah, blah. 
But when you engage with the word, you write it down and you look it up and you 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 interact with it in some way, it's it's very likely that you'll be able to retain it in your brain. -o. So now, next time you're attending a dars of a sheikh and you hear him say these words, it's gonna a light bulb is gonna pop in your head, or you're behind the imam in the salah and you hear him say, "Hal ta'lamu lahu samiya," uh, or any other word that we just use right now. لم تكن له صاحبة لم يتخذ ولدا لو كان بعضهم لبعض ظهيرة وإلى آخره you're gonna be like hey I know this I've heard this I've learned this so it's gonna give you a boost of iman it's gonna give you a boost of iman because you know what's going on you're not oblivious to the world كابيش يلا آية number thirty seven يا مولانا الشيخ